Gaming Bolt presents 15 times you were put in a pressure cooker situation as soon as the game began. Stories take stakes and conflict, otherwise it's not really a story. For an interactive medium like games, not only do they need to tell a story, but they have maybe that first mission to catch the attention of the players and convince them that this is going to be a ride worth sticking around for. These are 15 games that stuck you in the hot seat right from the word go, and made sure that they had you. Maybe with an explosion or two for good measure. Gears of War 4 Gears of War 4 was the setup for a new generation of COG, but before we could get to what was to come, we needed to look back at some of the harshest battles humanity had endured before, throwing the green player right into some of the bloodiest battles of the series, including Emergence Day, the Pendulum Wars, and the final defense of humanity taking place during the final battle of Gears of War 3. Welcome to Gears, soldier. Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus Picking up right after the climax of The New Order, the once invincible Billy B.J. Blazkowicz gave literally everything he had to finish that fight and is left with a broken, crippled body for it. The Nazi war machine would march on, however. Months later, when he is awakened from his coma, it's during a Nazi invasion of their U-boat base, which he has to do his best to repel from a wheelchair, and then he learns that he's expecting twins. Racing to kill all Nazis before your own broken body gives out and your children would be raised under a Nazi thumb? That's some serious pressure. Dead Space 2 Dead Space would be one of the best surprises of the last generation, bringing survival horror back in a big way while Resident Evil leaned more into action. Dead Space 2 upped the ante even further, with a medical checkup quickly going bonkers with necromorphs popping out of nowhere to decimate the area within a few minutes, showing the terrifying power of the alien parasites. Knack 2 Knack 2 doesn't have a huge focus on story, and for the younger audiences that it aims to, it doesn't really need to. The opening doesn't waste a lot of time setting up the world of Knack, and just gets right into the city of New Haven being torn apart by giant robots. What more do you really need? Destiny 2 The unknown and kicking the player in the teeth is exactly what the opening to Destiny 2 is trying to accomplish. Players spent several years learning the tower as their safe haven, home base, where they can keep all of that sweet, sweet loot. And then Gowl rolls in and just steamrolls everything the player and the guardians ever held dear as they desperately try to defend their stockpiles of loot. 999, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Mystery is one of the best sources of pressure, and 999, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors, manages to use it to create tension and suspense throughout the experience as nine individuals must work together to escape the nonary game alive. Before you ever meet, though, player character Junpei wakes up dazed in some unknown ship's cabin, locked in, and then suddenly a window shatters and begins filling his small enclosure with water. Uncharted 2 Uncharted 2 really works to get a player paying attention right away with a high pressure situation and keeps their attention through the game as they play back to that perilous point. Uncharted 2's cold open, pun intended, with the Himalayan train dangling over a sharp cliff really puts that extra punch into the best Uncharted adventure. Doom with a simple opening monologue asking players to rip and tear until it is done, the tone is set for the 2016 reboot of Doom right out of the gate, and punctuated by the enraged Doomslayer breaking free from his crypt to shatter the skull of a nearby unwilling. He soon finds a pistol and his armor, wanting to know the source of the demonic invasion decimating the UAC research station before the interruption of the facility's lead scientist who tries to begin an exposition dump tries to, before the Doomslayer tosses the monitor aside with disdain. He has his objective already, rip and tear. Neo Locked in a British jail cell, set for execution, William has no interest in waiting to die. The environment tells the story here, with skeletons and corpses of those who have committed some crime suffering significantly. A guardian spirit will help lead you away from this fate and to the shores of Japan, but it is William who will have to get there himself through some very well-trained soldiers and a gruesome executioner. Persona 5 
Instead of the mysterious, contemplative, philosophical introductions of Persona 3 and Persona 4, Persona 5 is determined to show itself as something all its own, throwing the player in Medeus Res to a heist getaway from a stylish phantom thief. The game shows the player's mechanics like sneaking in battles in a high-pressure environment before dropping the bomb of a team member selling them out. Near Automata Nier Automata is a strange game that never quite lets up or tells you what it's all about until the end. But right at the start, players better be able to cope with a bullet hell shmup segment, going toe to toe with a towering robotic defense system that could squish to be like a bug, and will regardless of their actions have to sacrifice themselves in the line of duty. It's a big start to a game with a lot to say, and a strange way of saying it, but totally worth the investment it asks. The Evil Within 2 the story of what a father will do for his daughter. The Evil Within 2 begins its gripping horror story with the protagonist running into his burning house, desperate to save his daughter. He'll find her up in the bedroom before she herself attacks him and melts him to nothing, only to wake up from the nightmare. The game will just continue to mess with the player after that, but that tense opening sets the tone perfectly. Bayonetta Bayonetta's story goes perfectly with its over-the-top witch protagonist, Bayonetta. In both titles, the history of the Umbra Witches and the Lumen Sages is summed up to the player during the key turning point of that ages-long war. When the clock tower of the Umbra was struck down and the final two witches went to total war against the legions. Titanfall 2 Bringing in a full campaign to the Titanfall titles was a hard ask, but Respawn knew just how to introduce things. A mere rifleman with aspirations of being a pilot to a titan, Jack Cooper is stranded planetside after an invasion against IMC forces goes terribly for the militia and the frontline fighters are devastated. Having to use everything he knows to survive in the burning wreckage of their ships, he'll be saved by his mentor and carry on his legacy and become the pilot to his titan. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain an emotional roller coaster where not everything is as it seems. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain's hospital mission is a microcosm of its game and sees a broken, battered snake at his weakest, literally crawling for his life and hardly able to support himself. A terrifying apparition of a man on fire, a literal demon from Snake's past, appears to hunt him and burns the hospital nearly to the ground. For a combination of stakes and vulnerability, Metal Gear tops this list. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Bolt, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.